Our thoughts make us what we are. Any fool can criticize, complain, and condemn, and most fools do. But it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. To injure an opponent is to injure yourself. To control aggression without inflicting injury is the art of peace. Everybody in the world is seeking happiness, and there is one sure way to find it. That is by controlling your thoughts. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. The mind is a superb instrument if used rightly. Used wrongly, however, it becomes very destructive. To put it more accurately, it is not so much that you use your mind wrongly, you usually don't use it at all. It uses you. Nothing is written in the stars. No one controls your destiny. Love, joy, and peace cannot flourish until you have freed yourself from mind dominance. Conceal your heart, control your mouth. Beware of releasing the restraints in you, listen if you want to endure in the mouth of the hearers. Speak after you have mastered the craft. The first step to regain control of time is to decide what activities are most important so that we can plan to give them the proper priority during a day or a week or a month. The power of the spoken word is one of life's greatest mysteries. All you will ever be or accomplish hinges on how you choose to govern what comes out of your mouth. The brain may devise laws for the blood but a hot temper leaps or a cold decree. Poets often describe love as an emotion that we can't control, one that overwhelms logic and a person who cannot control his words shows that he cannot control himself and is unworthy of respect. The mind is the leader or forerunner of all actions. Where could my heart find refuge from itself? Where could I go, yet leave myself behind? Was there any place where I should not be a prey to myself? None. It is easy to be calm when there is nothing to worry about. The true test of your self-control is whether you can remain calm in a trying situation. I have had many years to learn that losing my temper rarely helps. He said positive liberty is self-mastery, the rule of the self, by the self. To have positive liberty, he explained, is to take control of one's own mind, to be liberated from irrational fears and beliefs, from addictions, superstitions, and all other forms of self-coercion. I may have lost my heart, but not my self-control. She was without any power because she was without any desire of command over herself. It is a good divine that follows his own instructions. So this is how a person can come to despise himself knowing he's doing the wrong thing and not being able to stop. No one said you can't ever cry. Forget manliness. If you need to take a moment, by all means, go ahead. Real strength lies in the control or, as Nassim Taleb put it, the domestication of one's emotions, not in pretending they don't exist. Today Plato is nearly forgotten. His beliefs include the notion that people who govern should be intelligent, rational, self-controlled, and in love with wisdom, an idea that has long been discredited. Be slow to anger and quick to forgive, and you will have friends for as long as you live. You know, I read somewhere that 60% of us can't go more than 10 minutes without lying. Little slippages, to make ourselves sound better, more attractive, to others. White lies to avoid causing offense. So it's not like I've done anything out of the ordinary. It's only human. 
No, but God bring misfortune to him who is so careless about his self-control as to prattle when he should hold his peace.